Hi folks, Clank here with episode 2 of my Game Master Engine tutorial. In this one we'll be going over placing and manipulating props. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. On the left side here, the second button down, we'll go ahead and click that. This is our prop editor. You'll notice the right side fills up with a whole bunch of information. And on the bottom here, we have our prop menu. This contains all of the things that you can use to build your map. You can filter by these categories. There's hundreds and hundreds of different options, but we're going to go ahead and start with nature. So I'll click a tree here, and you'll notice that it spawns one into the world and follows my cursor. Anytime I right click, it'll spawn another one into the world. There's a couple keybinds to keep in mind here. If I use Q and E on my keyboard, it will rotate the prop around. I can use Control and Scroll Wheel. This will scale my prop up or down, make it bigger or smaller. I can use Alt in Scroll Wheel. This will change the elevation of my prop. And finally, I can right click and this will get rid of the prop that's in my hand. Now I'm going to go over to one of these that's already spawned into the world and I'm going to hover over it and you'll see that it turns blue. I can then press Control C to create a copy of that object. Now if I right click again, I can get rid of it and I hover over something. If I click it, you'll see that it becomes yellow and I can then manipulate it just like I would with one that was in my hand. If you press G on your keyboard, this will confine you to a grid. This is easy, this makes for like easy alignments and uh, creating things like that. If you press shift and drag, you'll notice that a little line appears. If you then click, it will create a line of the prop that was in your hand. You could then press control Z and this will undo the last prop that you spawned into the world. So finally, if we go ahead and select a prop that's in the world, on the right side here, you see these four icons. These are some extra tools uh, for manipulating your prop. So this changes the exact coordinates or its location in the world. You'll see that it moves around. Oh, I'm still uh, on grid mode. Here, I'll turn grid off. You can see that the numbers move around compared to where the object is in the world. You can click the second icon here, and this edits the prop's scale. Now you can edit it on any axis, axis. so X, Y, and Z. And this will stretch and scale the prop in different ways. You can get really creative with what how you use this. Um, there's many different things that you could do. For example, flat trees, um, and a whole lot of different things. You can get, really get creative with what you do with it. And the third icon here allows you to rotate the prop on any axis. And of course the trash can will delete the prop that you have currently selected. Awesome. So that's going to do it for this episode, uh, manipulating and spawning props. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next one.